All right, once again, I want to give all praise, all glory, all honor be unto Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Makar Kodash. Double earns me until the apostles and here is a great millstone. To all the Akims worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the Chiyama Shia camp. Just want a quick edification, three spirit and the power of the Most High, Basham Yahushai. My edification today is entitled Saddam and Egypt was the dream in its time. And it just goes back to um, the fact in this in this current time that we're living in, um, America is the dream. You know, and we know that America is spiritually Saddam and Egypt pertain to the scripture and revelation. So America basically just a symbol of a uh, mother and daughter relationship in the sense that Saddam and Egypt was the daughter to say, or the mother to say, and America is the daughter. But America now has overpassed and become the mother of all harlots, you know. Because their wickedness ex is exceedingly great, as the scripture will have described it. And the things that is going on over there, you know, it's, it's marvel. It's marvel to see. And it's actually marvel to see that the children of Israel, who mainly makes up the Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, they are some of the main culprits in the abominations and the atrocities that is happening over there in Saddam and Egypt, spiritually. So you get into um, Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 44. It says, Behold, everyone that used it proverbs shall use this proverbs against thee. Same as is the mother, so is her daughter. And Saddam and Egypt was your mother because you're part of that structure on the um the statue in Daniel where they are shown those empires coming down. And even though you're at the bottom of um iron and clay, you're still part of the family. So you are spiritually Saddam and Egypt and Babylon as well. So in different circumstances and instances where the scripture will talk about either Babylon, Egypt, either Saddam, Egypt, they will have been talking about you, America. Because the things that you are doing is what the same things that you're predecessors, Babylon, Egypt, Solomon, Gomorrah, all of these they will have been doing. So you're just following in their footsteps to fulfill prophecies overall. No? They jump a little bit into Sodom. We go to Genesis chapter 19 and verse 5. It says, Start at verse 1. And there came two angels to Sodom at evening. And Lot sat in the gate of the Sodom. And Lot seeing them rose up to meet them and bow himself with his face towards the ground. Because Lot was a spiritual man. So he would have known spiritual men would see them, especially angels, you know. And he said, Behold now. My lords, turn in, I pray you, unto your servant's house, and tarry all night and wash your feet. And ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. Yeah, because they came for judgment, they came to judge. They came to see the wickedness of the people. You know, so they were on the Lord there, how Bashem Shai work. You know, and he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him. 
and entered into his house. And he made them a feast and did bake on leavened bread and they did eat. And before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house wrong, both young and old, all the people from every quarters. So young and old meaning young men, old men, all were part of the folly. And we, we even see that around this time where even children at a tender age, um, they are being um, doctrinated to more or less explore their sex sexual preferences outside of the natural union, you know, and that they could take certain blockers and certain medication to have them change their preferences to what they please, you know. And, and they call upon Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. And knowing them means to have sex with them. So these men, young and old, they saw some new men came in the city and they were all in awe that they should know these new men. You know, these new men can't escape. Just to show that the wickedness of these men in that city and the, the, the devils that was roaming, they they were they were heavy on that city they was heavy on those men and and lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said i pray you brethren do not so wickedly behold i have two daughters which have not known men let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. <clears throat> For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came into sojourn, and he will need be a judge. Now, will we deal worse with thee than with them and they pressed so upon the man even lot and came near to break the door so they were going to deal with lot the same way and the men put forth their hand and put lot into the house with them and shut the door so their intention was to deal with every man that was there that night you know so these are some of the abominable things that is happening over there in spiritually Sodom and Egypt and Babylon where men are pushing that vibration to be Sodomites, you know. And that was the dream back then in Sodom, in Egypt, to be a Sodomite. Even when you go to the histories of the statue coming down, you see it would have been rampant in Rome as well, where a lot of Roman generals, they will have been sodomites as well. And they will have liked abominable things as well, you know. So, um, jumping on to verse 24, it says, And the Lord of Hashemesh, I read upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And that's the same fire and brimstone that's going to burn Babylon the Great, that great city as well. So it's just the same thing that's going to happen um, so as your mother was, so the daughter is going to be. Because you are, the, you are the king and you are the queen of harlots right now. You are the abomination of the earth. You know? I used to jump into Jude chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, 
gave themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, as set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. And it's so likewise a great city, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, Babylon, is going to suffer the same fate as your mother. You're going to be burnt with the messes of the chariot because Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed with chariots. Those messes was from the chariots, you know. And it's going to be the likewise as well with your own weapon and the weapons which are those nukes from the other nations. Moses of Ashimisha is going to put his spirit in those nukes to punish and to destroy that great city. Alright, so Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse um, start at verse 40 um, seven. Verse 48 says, As I live, said the Lord of Ashmishai power, Sodom, thy sister, had done, she had not done, nor her daughters, as thou hast done, nor of thy daughters. Behold, this was iniquity of thy sister Sodom, pride, fullness of bread. An abundance of idleness was in her and her daughters. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor nor the needy. So Sodom and Gomorrah was the dream. It was a place of abundance. It was a place of idleness. It was a place of do as you plead. As well as Babylon, as well as Egypt. You know, they were the, they were the dream of those times. And you, you basically could have gone there and lived the dream. Verse 50, and they were haughty and committed abominations before them. Therefore, I took them away as I saw good. And that was with fire and brimstone. That was with destruction. Either of their kings or, or, or you know, but destroyed overall. So, just like the great city today is the dream where you go and you do as you please. It was the same thing in Salomon or Morris, was the same thing in Egypt, was the same thing in Babylon, that was the dream of the time. Everyone wants to go there to live the dream and enjoy. Matthew chapter 10. And verse 11, it says, And into whatsoever city or tongue ye shall enter, Inquire who is worthy, who in it is worthy, and thereby till thou till he go hence. That's what he that's what the one of the things that the angel did as well. And when he comes into an house, salute it. And let the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when he depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. And that city right now that we are calling upon is the great city, spiritually, Sodom and Egypt. And very soon, men of the Lord of Abashmashad, well, they already dust their foot off because he knows his eminent destruction for that city. But it's going to have the same fate as Salon of Moro. It's going to be burned with fire the same way. And a parable going to be upon that city the same way. So Second Peter, chapter 2. And verse 1, it says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there be false teachers among you, 
the privilege shall bring in damnable heresies. Even denying the Lord our Bashmi shall have brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by means of whom the way of the truth shall be evil spoken of. And true covetousness shall they be fain words, mean merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingered not and their damnation slumbered not. For if power spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them unto chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old will, nor save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the will of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live on God. And that's the fate of the great city as well. It's going to be reduced to ashes. It's going to be made a wilderness. That's the Lord of Hashem Mishai. No? Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 9. Said, except the Lord our Bashim Shab who had led us uh, had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. And that remnant is the one hundred and forty four men, women and children. You know. But that great city is gonna be destroyed, just like it's the dream today. It was the dream back then, and just like the fate of Back then, it's going to be the fate of now for that great city. It's going to be destroyed. That's the Lord of Hashem Mishai. So I hope this was a defined to you. You know, with that, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory be unto you. How about Hashem Mishai? Hashem Kakwadash. A double answer be unto your apostles, and he has a great millstone. To all the Akims worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the GM Ashura Kamsin. Shalom. Stay strong, Akim Shalom.